Being stubborn in a relationship. Welcome to Happily Committed. I am Coach Adrian. Most of my clients complain about being in relationships with a stubborn partner or stubborn spouse. And if you've been with your significant other for a long time, you probably think that they're stubborn too. It's normal. After a while, we tend to get caught up in our frame of reference, in our way of thinking and viewing the world. And it becomes harder and harder to relate and empathize with our significant other, to be able to put ourselves in our significant other's shoes. So if you have been called stubborn by your significant other, or if you think that you are committed to someone that is really, really stubborn, what can you do? How can you fix this and start to pull in the same direction and have a moment of breakthrough? That's what this video is all about. The question that I'm going to ask you today is the following. Is it better to be right or is it better to be loved? And that is a question that you need to really kind of, you know, reflect on. Because most of the time, people that are right and insist on being right all the time tend to push their significant other away. And unity within your couple and your relationship is more important than being right. Ultimately, what you want to do is to create a loving, nurturing environment within your relationship. And so what I've told many of my clients over the years is stop focusing on winning every argument. That's not what this is about. What, what your relationship is about is about happiness right? It's about building happiness together. And that should be the goal. Whether you are the stubborn party or whether you are considering your significant other to be so stubborn that your relationship is in jeopardy. The second tip that I have for you is that you need to focus on building connection in order to not let the tension overwhelm or stress the relationship. And we tend to focus on the fights, on the bickering and the arguments, and we zero in on our partner's shortcomings instead of focusing on trying to rebuild moments, instead of focusing on trying to move forward and past whatever tension or hiccup or stubborn behavior is plaguing your relationship. And so I invite you to shift your focus. Instead of being focused on the stubborn behavior and actions taking place in your relationship. Try to be the party that inspires positivity. Try to focus on the good and to build connection with your significant other. At the end of the day, all relationships are about understanding your significant other's wants, needs, desire, unspoken needs. And in all of our videos, you will hear Coach Natalie and I talk about the need to empathize and to relate to your significant other. Whether you're at fault or they are, whether you're the stubborn party or they are, if you are unable to see things from their frame of reference, it's going to be very difficult for you to rebuild a bridge, to rebuild a healthy connection. And ultimately, there are some things that you need to be able to let go and others that you should definitely stand your ground on. And one of the primary coaching lessons that should come from this video that you should learn is how to differentiate your non-negotiables, your core values, and the small stuff that you may be kind of getting stuck on whether it's, you know, putting the dishes away or making the bed in the morning or not leaving their shoes wherever they're leaving their shoes, 
when you were in committed relationships, after a while, we tend to give a lot of importance to the small stuff. But none of these things are non-negotiable core values. If you are about cleansiness, organized home, if that's what makes you tick, and if that's one of your core values, then go about talking or having a conversation with your partner in a way that doesn't make them feel attacked, belittled, or demeaned. And that is the key, making sure that you break through stubborn behavior or your partner's resistance or your own resistance by working on building joint solutions or finding joint solutions to common problems. That is the key to experiencing breakthrough in your relationship with a stubborn spouse or partner. At the end of the day, sometimes you're gonna need to learn to agree to disagree. You are both two individuals on your own journeys and also on a journey together. And you need to be able to respect and appreciate each other for all that you are. And that is something that is essential that I remind clients each and every day in coaching sessions. The last piece of advice that I'm going to leave here with you is, are there deeper issues that are not being addressed? Sometimes one party can be stubborn on one specific issue because they built, have built up resentment over another issue that has gone unaddressed. And that can lead to toxicity and it can lead to separation. It's very important to address the issues as they come up and not to sweep things under the rug in hopes of just keeping the peace. Because building resentment is a sure way to having regrets, remorse, once you guys go your separate ways. If you're dealing with a stubborn partner, leave your experience in the comment section below. I wanna learn from your experience, and I'm sure that many people around the world are going to be inspired by the fact that there are other people struggling with the same issues, looking for the same solutions to the, to the issues that they have in their day-to-day. -day. We are trying to build the largest community in the world of happy couples fighting the good fight with the right set of values and with the right intentions. And we need your help. So like this video if you've enjoyed it, join the movement, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and see you soon for another video on Happily Committed.